So I'm going to start off by using the new YSL Blur Primer, and I am just applying this all over my face. It's a really nice primer because it smooths everything out, but it has a really nice radiance to it too. This is a Studio Sculpt Foundation from MAC and in the shade NW20, and I am just stippling this all over my face. Um, really, I'm just trying to get the product onto my face. I'm not being super precise with how I'm doing it. I just want to kind of create a, a layer. And then I'm going to go in with my Damp Beauty Blender and pat out any excess product, get rid of any brush strokes, and just further blend to get that flawless look. Now I'm going to use the concealer from MAC. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. And I use this uh, concealer a lot. I'm just applying this in a thin layer underneath my eyes, in my T-zone, and on my lids. This is just going to help kind of brighten out the face. It's also going to take away any discoloration or redness. And anywhere I'm, where I'm putting this light color, it's going to just bring my features forward. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with a damp beauty blender, just making sure that it's blending really nicely with my foundation and that there is no harsh lines left over. Now I'm just taking a light brown shade. You can use whatever one you want. This is just gonna be a transition shade. So we're gonna start our halo eye by using this medium brown shade and applying that through our outer V and our inner V in semi-circles. Make sure you're very clean, starting with this color and all the colors we use from now on. Now I'm taking unedited. This is a little bit deeper, a little bit richer. And I'm applying that right directly into my natural crease in the outer and inner part. My inner crease, I will use a pencil brush just so it is super clean. You want to make sure you're using smaller brushes when you're applying more depth like this um, in this type of eye look that we're going for, just so it stays really neat and clean because it can easily look like just a black eye. And just blend that out with the previous brush we used for that first brown shade. I'm taking this beautiful or uh, orange gold shade and I'm applying that right into the center of my lid and I'm using this flat shader brush and I'm just using one side and I'm just packing as much pigment in as much as possible. Much, much, much. <laughs> And then I'm going to take my darker shimmer shade in the palette and apply it on the outer and inner parts. And I'm using the same brush, but I'm using the other side because I'm going to continuously add a little bit more gold, a little bit more depth, and kind of blend those shades together until I feel like the look is just right. So this is totally your preference and whatever makes you happy and comfortable. Make sure you do a little bit at a time. You can always add more. It's real hard to take it back. And just blend out any excess lines or powder that's kind of built up. Now I'm taking the two lightest shades. Um, one is matte, one is shimmer. First I'm using the matte shade and I'm applying that right underneath my brow bone. And then I'm going to take, dip my brush into the shimmer and take that right below kind of like the highest point of my brow just to add a little bit more sparkle. And I'm going to take that unedited again and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line.
And now I'm just taking that shaping powder that I just showed. This is just a orange shaping powder from MAC and I'm just buffing out my lower lash line with that shade to add a little bit more warmth and kind of dragging that down a little bit. And I'm taking that gold color and I'm popping it right in the center of the lower lash line. And yeah, that's kind of the look. So I just put some mascara on and I did my brows. There's a little bit of Fix Plus too. Now this is the Park Avenue Princess and I'm using the bronzer shade and I'm really liking it. So I'm just buffing this all over my face here into the hollows on my forehead, around my chin, and I'm just strictly bronzing right now. I mean, I am putting this where you would contour, but I'm just kind of warming up my face. That's the goal with this. Now I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm just using that medium contour shade and I'm applying that further into my hollows to create even more depth. Right there in my cheekbones, I'll apply them along the side of my nose, under my chin, and just make sure that it's all really blended nicely just to make my face a little bit smaller. Now I'm taking that shimmer yellowish tone powder from the gold palette and I'm just using that as a highlight and you can see how intense it really is. I'm applying it to the um, highest points of my face right now, so right there on my cheekbones. And then I'm going to put some on my nose and above my lip and just bathe in this color. I'm just going to use a light pinky coral blush. You can use any blush that makes you happy, that you feel like blends well, and I'm just applying that right where you would put blush. And I'm going to blend my whole face out. Make sure it looks good. Now I'm lining my lips with the Marc Jacobs lip liner, and I really like this lip liner, but the only thing I don't like about it is that it's not super pointy or sharp. It is a twist up so you do not sharpen it, but I love the lasting wear of it and I love the shade ranges that they have. And this is just your typical nude with a little bit of that brown undertone lip liner. Now you could just leave the look like that or you could pop this MAC lipstick over top. It's just a complimentary shade. They pretty much looked identical to me. Um, and I am just applying this all over my lips to give me that luscious look. And then I'll spray my face with Fix Plus for a final once over. And then I'm going to level myself because I think it looks awesome. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.